you must value your time more than anything. Because let me tell you something, you will lose a lot of money with the wrong low quality person. You'll lose a lot of money. But I'm gonna tell you what you lose more, and which is more important, you're gonna lose time. You're gonna lose time, time, time. Money you can get back, time, you're not going to get any of that back. And so, if you choose to adopt or accept the greatest resource or give away the greatest resource, which is your time, a way to worship, a way to worship in women, as opposed to living the free agent lifestyle. Guys, do you realize what you can do with your time? You realize that you can do? You realize that you make the most money out of everybody here? You realize that women spend 83% of all consumer uh, goods? They buy everything. But they don't make a lot of money. Like, how do we work that out? Let's, let's work this out. Let's do this math. They control 83% of the consumer spending. We control 17%. <laughs> Yet, we make the most money. Gender pay gap, right? That's what they're telling us. How are they spending 83% of the money? You know how? You are choosing to invest that, that power into them. You're giving it to them. You're advocating because you're giving them your time, okay? Listening to these organized campaigns. Hashtag believe all women. Women create life. Happy wife, happy life. Name a campaign that they recently had for men. Like, name a campaign. Like, men are good. Or, like, what? Like, think one. Every week, it's a new one, okay? Oh, your mother's the queen. The black woman's the queen. All right, the black, black girl magic. I mean, every week, it's a new marketing campaign. <laughs> Did you have one? Oh, it's just like kill all men is a popular <laughs> yeah, one. That's a negative, right? That's not in our favor, right? But there hasn't been a lot of campaigns created. Why? Because they know you worship women too much. They know it. Look at your Instagram feed. Look at your Instagram feed. I know, I, I'll test you. If you really wanted me to test you, I can test you. I'll show you my Instagram feed, you show me yours and let's count how many asses are out by the time we scroll, and at the end of five minutes, all right, you're either the winner or the loser. <laughs> this is what you spend your time on, and this is what guys do. This is what kills me. This is opposite of the free agent lifestyle. Everything you do, the first thing you think about is, well, are there gonna be some women there? <laughs> go to the club. Are there gonna be some women there? Let's go to the gym. There gonna be some women there, right? What college are you gonna select? I'm gonna select the ones with the best women. These, these, like literally, I'm telling you, that's worship of women who've done nothing for you. You selected a school for a woman that did zero for you. The whole damn campus did nothing for you, you selected the school for that, okay? These are the things that we do that keep us in the position we're in, okay? So the tenets of the free agent lifestyle are this, and this is specifically for men who have been either divorced or going through a bad breakup, okay? This is why we get to other men. This is how you got here. You probably were like, all right, I ain't too good with women. I need to know how to do it better. You want your shortcuts, okay? There's a lot of shortcuts out there for you, right? Let me talk about that real quick. I'll get back to that. So let's just get back to the tenets. The tenets of the free agent lifestyle are this. You're recovering, you're trying to figure it out. The last thing you need to do is get involved with another woman, period. I had a 50-year-old woman tell me this when I was going through my divorce. She was like, don't mess with regular women for three years. I said, damn. <laughs> she said, for three years, don't even think about a relationship. I was like, what, really? And she said that because I said, oh, you know, I met this girl. She's like, no, regular women off limits. It's like, damn, that's a red pill. See, women, older women, will red, they got red pill knowledge. Why? Because they ran out of time. They, got, they see the world completely different. Nobody worships them. They, they don't get worship anymore. So they see the world completely different. So she could see it, and not only that, she has a son. Women with young boys, they either gonna make them son husbands or they're gonna protect that boy. 
and she had a boy who was a teenager. So she was like, damn, I'm not gonna do what my friends did to these men. I don't want that to happen to my boy, okay? The three tenets of the free agent lifestyle, no cohabitation.